The World Cup is right around the corner, and the main event of 2022 will certainly uncover new talents for us. Let's recall the footballers who became stars thanks to the World Cup. Before the start of the 2014 World Cup, Keylor Navas had already successfully played in La Liga for Levante. But without the World Cup, the Costa Rican would hardly have achieved the rise that changed his entire future career. At the tournament in Brazil, the Costa Rica team, whose goal was defended by Navas, won the group with England, Italy and Uruguay. Thanks to Kaler's excellent saves, Costa Rica conceded only one goal in those three games and continued to surprise in the playoffs. In the round of 16, Los Ticos beat Greece on penalties. In the quarterfinals, Navas and company had a goalless tie with the Netherlands. But this time the rivals turned out to be more successful in a penalty series. After the World Cup, Real Madrid signed Navas as a backup for Iker Casillas. For a while, Kehler had to stay on the bench, but he soon became Los Blancos' main goalkeeper and won the Champions League three times in a row in five years at the club. After Real Madrid, Navas moved to PSG and still remains a top goalkeeper. We'll enjoy his game at the World Cup in Qatar very soon. In the same 2014, the star of James Rodriguez lit up. By the time the World Cup in Brazil began, the playmaker already boasted excellent stretches at Porto and Monaco. But he hadn't yet been called a star. James needed to somehow declare himself to the whole world. This is exactly what he did at the World Cup held in a country of samba and carnivals. In four games, James managed to score six goals, which subsequently led him to win the golden boot of the tournament. Rodriguez took Colombia to the quarterfinals and stunned millions of spectators with his goal against Uruguay, for which James was later awarded the Puskas Prize. The much-needed leap at the club level took place when Real Madrid came for the sensational midfielder. Los Blancos forked out 75 million euros for James. The Colombian had both ups and downs at the Santiago Bernabeu, but in the end he left for Bayern. In Madrid and Munich, James collected 14 prestigious trophies and had some fun playing in Europe for some time. We bet you didn't know about Benjamin Pavard until the 2018 World Cup. Playing in Stuttgart, the right back had no chance to get some hype. But French coach Didier Deschamps called him up to the international competition and let him play six out of seven matches. Thanks to Pavar, Le Blues had three clean sheets on their way to the final. Benjamin scored only one goal, but it was something special. In a round of 16 game against Argentina, with France being 1-2 down, the fullback equalized with a phenomenal strike. His team turned the tide of the clash and advanced to the next round. Pavar's goal was recognized as the best goal in the tournament. France won the World Cup and Benjamin signed a contract with Bayern a year later. The defender won the Bundesliga three times with Bayern, took the cup and the Super Cup of the country once each, and also won gold medals for victories in the Champions League, European Super Cup and Club World Cup, the ultimate dream for Pavar. Eight years ago, Stefan de Frey was famous only among Eredivisie fans. In 2014, after a successful season at Feyenoord, the center back went to the World Cup as part of the Netherlands national team and showed what he was made of. De Frey read the game excellently and worked successfully in the air, so Oranje didn't worry about the defense and boldly went on the attack against any opponent in the group stage, scoring at least two goals in each match. Stefan managed to help in the front line as well. In a match against Spain, his set-piece goal contributed to the defeat of Furia Roja with a score of 5-1. This result inspired the Dutch so much that they reached the semi-finals and became the bronze medalists of the tournament, having defeated Brazil in the third-place playoff. Defne was also included in the symbolic team of the tournament according to the BBC Channel Pundits. After the tournament, Stefan was almost bought by Manchester United. The centre-back was supposed to join the Red Devils, but for some reason changed his mind and signed a contract with Lazio, although it wasn't a mistake. After several seasons in the Eagles camp, De Frey reinforced Inter Milan, with whom he won all three domestic cups.
The World Cup was the starting point in Ante Rebic's career. Before the World Cup in Russia, the Croatian winger played at Eintracht but didn't show anything outstanding there. But his finest hour came during the main international tournament. Having beaten Nigeria, Argentina and Iceland, Croatia confidently qualified for the playoffs and sensationally made it to the final, where they lost to France. Rebic played six matches and scored one goal against Argentina, but this doesn't come close to reflecting Ante's contribution to the success of the Croatian national team. His perseverance and constant pressure opened free zones to other checkered attacking line players, giving flexibility and balance to their game. The strengths of Rebic were appreciated. A year later, Milan took a closer look at the player. Rossoneri loaned the Croat for two seasons and eventually bought him out completely. After 104 matches for Il Diavolo, the Croat has 29 goals and 17 assists. Moreover, this year Rebic celebrated his first truly major achievement in the club level, the victory in the Italian Serie A, which Milan fans have been waiting for 11 long years. Irvin Lozano was one of the most talked about players of the last World Cup. Before heading to the World Cup with the Mexico national team, the striker was already well known for his impressive performance at PSV, but Lozano felt that he was capable of so much more. At the 2018 World Cup, Chucky scored against Germany and provided an assist in the game against South Korea. The Mexicans won both matches but were eliminated by Brazil in the playoffs. And despite that, the speed and merciless completion of the attacks shown by Irving fascinated all European scouts. A year later, Lozano was bought for 45 million euros. He moved from PSV to Napoli. Since then, not a single summer has passed without rumors that Chucky will leave Italy and end up in the English Premier League. Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal are keeping a close eye on his progress. There was also news that the player could join the ranks of the ambitious and rising Newcastle. At the moment, Irving is not in a hurry to make any decisions and carefully considers his next career step. His priority is to play the best he can with Mexico in Qatar and bring the Greens to the high stages again. The whole country will support him in this. Chucky can expect a pleasant surprise at the club level as well. Napoli top the Serie A standings and have a good chance of becoming champions of Italy at the end of the current season. If everything goes well, Lozano will win the Scudetto and, most likely, will leave for another league with new, bigger goals. Guys, who do you think will be the breakout star of the upcoming World Cup in Qatar? Tell us your predictions in the comments below. We read all of them. And as usual, don't forget to like this video. This is Top Football. Thanks for watching and see you in our next videos. Bye bye.